our next two really useful warning signs involve looking for evidence of a volcano inflating or deflating, as for looking for evidence of magma flowing into the magma chamber or leaving it, something we haven't talked about but that definitely happens. Uh, and the first part of this warning sign number five is by looking at measurements we can take on the ground. So what does it mean to have a magma chamber inflate or deflate? Well, let's look at this magma chamber again and let's talk about when new magma comes into it, it needs a little bit more space, so it's going to push the rocks around it out of the way, and it's actually going to deform the shape of the volcano at the surface. And we can actually measure that. We can see that the slope of the volcano, it might get steeper as, as more magma flows into it. Uh, and if we took a tape measure from one side of the volcano to the other, uh, that tape measure might actually need to be longer because all of a sudden everything's stretched out. And eventually we might have so much magma in there that it will escape. And we call that, of course, an eruption. And as magma leaves out the top, the magma chamber is going to basically shrink back down to its original size, and so will the volcano at the surface. And we actually see this. Uh, this is a schematic showing how we make some measurements of that. Uh, this is supposed to be a volcano, uh, and this is the crater at the top of it. Uh, you might have a particular instrument called a tilt meter, which kind of works like a carpenter's level, and it basically tells you that all of a sudden, as the volcano has inflated, the angle is steeper than it was before. Likewise, you might have this measurement. It's not going to be a tape measure, but it's going to be using some sort of laser range finding system or even GPS uh, to figure out how far apart the two sides of this crater are. And when you swell up the whole volcano, it all of a sudden takes more distance it, uh, to get across that crater, and we can actually measure that. So in the next two particular examples here in the VoiceThread slides, you're going to be looking at a couple of different data sets. Uh, this one's showing the distance across a crater, just like I described for you, and you're going to tell me what you can tell about what's happening to the magma chamber underneath and how you know it. And in this one, we're going to be looking at arrows showing the motion of a particular point. So this little spot right here moved over to the east a little bit. This spot here moved to the north. And you're going to try and see if you can figure out if that represents inflation or deflation. You're going to have to do a little bit of spatial thinking here. So give those a try, and uh, I'll comment and give you feedback uh, if, uh, once you do.